in the last two classes we have started with the magnetic circuit and in that we have discussed about some basic concepts related to magnetic circuit in the last class we have discussed about the magnetic circuit and its type series magnetic circuit and parallel magnetic circuit after that we have discussed about the bh curve and its important so let's start with the kirchhoff's law for magnetic circuit so just like in case of electrical circuit we have studied the two laws okay that is stated by the scientist kirchhoff's in that we have studied about kirchhoff's voltage law and kirchhoff's current law in same way we have the kirchhoff's laws for the magnetic circuit the so first law is nothing but the flux law okay so at a junction the algebraic sum of magnetic fluxes are zero so algebraic sum of all the fluxes will be zero so in case of this KCL we have the algebraic sum of currents will be equals to zero in same way in case of parallel magnetic circuit the total flux will be get divided into two parts so here we have the phi 1 flux and here we have the phi 2 flux so it will be stated as phi equals to phi 1 plus phi 2 or in another way phi minus phi 1 minus phi 2 equals to zero so this is the first law okay that is called as flux law in second law we have the MMF law so MMF law will be given as in a closed magnetic circuit the algebraic sum of MMFs will be equals to zero so algebraic sum of MMFs okay in the magnetic circuit it will be zero so these two laws are known as Kirchhoff's laws for magnetic circuit next we have the few concepts related to magnetic circuit they are called as magnetic leakage and fringing so let's discuss about the magnetic leakage so we have seen the permeability for the free space vacuum or air so why this permeability for free space and vacuum is there because we know there is no any perfect insulator available for the magnetic flux it can be set up in the air as well that means if the any material will be having the low permeability and if reluctance is high that means there is a leakage of magnetic flux that will take place in the air as well so magnetic leakage is nothing but this is the phenomena of magnetic flux taking an undesired path outside the desired magnetic circuit that means it will just set up in the air or vacuum or free space as well so magnetic flux can be minimized by sorry the leakage of magnetic flux it can be minimized by choosing a very high permeability material to construct the magnetic circuit now what will happen if the leakage of magnetic flux will be more that means the bad effects of the leakage we need to consider the magnitude of useful flux and the useful flux density becomes smaller than the desired value if the leakage flux is high hence to have the desired value of the useful flux higher mmf is required we required more value of MMF to produce the again the leakage flux and hence the useful flux because the leakage flux is more so leakage flux lines with the nearby object or devices may produce undesired effect just like eddy current or interaction with main flux or those devices it will be having some interruption so here we can consider this is what the total flux we have and here the leakage flux which has set up in the air as well and this is what the useful flux which is set up in the magnetic material so total collective collectively we call it as the total flux so leakage flux useful flux and here total flux will be there next concept is magnetic fringing so when air gap is present in the magnetic circuit the magnetic flux lines they will bulge in the air gap so this effect is called as magnetic fringing so here the example is given one core type transformer is there and there is a small air gap present in this part so these magnetic lines of forces while traveling from this magnetic material through this air gap and again to the magnetic material they will be just traveling parallelly and while moving parallel they have the natural tendency to bulge each other so due to this bulging the effective cross sectional of the air gap is increases as we can see here so this effect is called as fringing effect so due to fringing the effective cross sectional area of the air gap is more than the cross sectional area of the neighboring magnetic part or magnetic material so it can be minimized by minimizing the length of the air gap with this magnetic material 
we will define the fringing factor. So, this is given by the magnetic flux density in the air gap to the flux density in the magnetic part of the neighboring to the air gap. So, this fringing factor is given by B i upon B a. So, this is due to the air gap which is present in the series with the magnetic material. So, here we have the total flux here it will be again uh, leakage flux will be there that has not shown and here this is the useful flux and this is what the effect of fringing. So, by using this fringing ok uh, we have to solve some numerical there the fringing factor and leakage factor also will be given and if air gap is not present that means the fringing factor will be 0 that we need to consider. So, here we will consider one simple example. Uh, just I will go through this example. A soft iron ring of mean diameter 15 centimeter is uniformly wound with 170 turns of the insulated copper wire. So, this uh, ring is there which is having the 15 centimeter diameter and 170 turns are wound on that particular uh, magnetic material of soft iron ring and uh, 1.8 ampere DC current is passed in the coil. So, current is passed 1.8 ampere. We have to find the flux density in the ring if relative permeability of soft iron is given at 600. So, mu r is given. So, our basic formula is n i equals to phi into s. This is regarding uh, your uh, MMF law or you can call it as uh, Ohm's law for the magnetic circuit. So, phi will be again n i upon s. So, n i upon s value is L upon mu 0 mu r into a. So, here we need to substitute the value of L. So, we will calculate the value of the L that means the length of the magnetic circuit we need to can consider and mean circumference of the ring which is given as diameter. So, pi d we need to consider. So, pi into 15 into 10 raise to minus 2 meter. So, we get the value of L which is 47.1 into 10 raise to minus 2 meters. So, this value we need to substitute in terms of L. So, here again we have to rearrange, we have to simplify this formula. So, phi will be equals to n i mu 0 mu r in, into a divided by L. So, this L we will take here. So, phi by a is nothing but the magnetic flux density which we need to find out. So, the formula will be n i into mu 0 mu r divided by L. So, mu 0 value you need to put here that is not given, but we know the value which is 4 pi into 10 raise to minus 7 and we have 170, then i it is given as 1.8 and here we have the value of mu 0 which is given as 600. So, divided by this L value, if you solve this one, you will get the value of B which is 0 0.49 Tesla. So, this is the required value of the B. So, in this example, they have not given any kind of air gap, simply they have just taken the uh, soft iron ring. We will consider one example where the air gap is present. So, here they have given the air gap. So, how to solve this one? A steel ring of mean radius. So, here radius is given 20 centimeter has a socket of 2 mm. So, this is what the socket uh, which we can consider as air gap of 2 mm. The ring is wound with the 300 turns of a coil carrying 4 ampere current relative permeability that is mu r equals to 800. We have to find the flux density in the air gap if the coefficient of leakage is 1.1. So, this we need to consider while calculating the B. So, first we have we have to use this formula B s equals to coefficient of leakage into B g. This is 1.1 into B g you need to consider. Then again here in similar way we will calculate the length of the steel part. So, while calculating the length of the steel part you need to subtract the length of the air gap. So, here radius is given. So, you, you will use the formula which is a 2 pi r minus the gap length. So, 2 pi into 20 into 10 raise to minus 2 as it is given in the centimeter. So, minus 2 mm. Uh, so, this is 2 into 10 raise to minus 2 meter sorry minus 3 meter and you will get the length it, uh, it is 1.255 meter. So, for series magnetic circuit uh, we will use this formula n i equals to just summation of phi into s. So, as the two mediums are there so respective uh, reluctance will be different. So, phi into s s we will consider plus phi into s g. 
So, just value of this one we will substitute B s into L s divided by mu R s into mu 0 plus B g into L g divided by mu 0. Here mu R naught will be there only mu 0 we need to consider. So, in terms of uh, this B s value we will substitute it in terms of B g. So, one point here we have already calculated. So, 1.1 B g into L s divided by mu R s into mu 0 again this will remain as it is. So, here just we will take this B g upon mu 0 common. So, in bracket we will just have 1.1 L s divided by mu R s plus L g. Again here we have the value of n which is 300 turns then 4 ampere current equals to B g upon this mu 0 value we will substitute 4.2 10 is to minus 7. Again all those values we have the length L s we have 1.255 then mu R s is given as 800 plus length of gap is 2 into 10 is to minus 3. So, here we will calculate the B g value as this value divided by this value. So, finally, we will get the flux density in the air gap which is asked to calculate which is B z which is equals to 0 0.405 tesla. So, in this way while the air gap is present so, leakage factor or in some of the numerical may be fringing factor will be given. So, that also we need to consider in terms of this B g and B s we can substitute the formula and we can get the required answer. So, here we have completed the first part and second part as well uh, with the first unit. Thank you.